Good morning, everybody. It's Brett, your Thankful Carnivore. It's May the 20th, and this is today's Thankful Carnivore Report. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to listen to me ramble on about things related to the carnivore way of eating and other issues I find interesting. Please check me out across all my social media, Instagram at thankful.carnivore, on Twitter where those meat-eating savages continue to just run wild. It's Stickman Bleeding, that's S-T-I-C-K-M-A-N-B-L-E-E-D-I-N, don't add a G. Facebook, YouTube, Thankful Carnivore. Don't forget, you can get a 30-minute carnivore coaching session from MeetRx.com for under 20 bucks. That's right, you can get a 30-minute carnivore coaching session from MeetRx.com for under 20 bucks. You can book me. Why don't you go there and check it out? If you're interested in succeeding, starting out new, don't know where what, what to eat, check us out at MeetRx.com. The coaching session will set you up for success. Okay, today's topic is changes now and changes to come. Um, life is full of change. We can't live without making changes sometimes. It's just impossible. If we don't change, if we don't adapt to our environment, then we suffer. And if we don't adapt and change as we should, it can kill us. I choose to change in ways that help me do better. For instance, the gyms in Florida can now legally be open. I was a member at a certain franchise <laughs> a gym that uh, is a mile from the house, and it's a very easy walk. And as many of you all know, I used to post a lot of pictures from those workouts, videos, and uh, I, I really didn't have much of a complaint. But then this uh, virus hysteria fires up, and they shut down like everybody else with the lockdown. And uh, But now here in Florida, the gyms are allowed to be open. But the company chose to stay closed. Now, it's their business. They're free to keep their doors closed if they want to. If they don't want to make money, that's their choice. But I needed a gym. I need to work out. It's important to me that I get stronger. It's important to me that I enhance my longevity by growing, building more muscle. And I only can do that in the gym, successfully. At home, and eh, there's just too many distractions in our house, as I've said before, it just isn't an appropriate place for lifting weights. It's just not. So I got to go to a gym that's two miles from the house, that actually didn't open up until last October, so that's how why it escaped my notice. I was completely oblivious to its existence. And uh, they've got a week-long free trial. And yes, they're open. So I availed myself of the opportunity this morning, and uh, wife, Carnivory Art Life, my awesome wife, Danielle, of Ask Danielle fame, dropped me off. And... Uh, <laughs> My old gym looks like a closet by comparison. This new facility is enormous and has every type of exercise contraption you can think of, from barbells to, to resistance machines to one. It looks like there's a, a 150 treadmills or more. And uh, there's all kinds of free weights, hand weights, there's kettlebells, which I can't wait to start working with. And uh, it's very, very encouraging. And they have that all important tanning booth that I really missed as well. So it looks like I'm gonna be making a change to a different gym. Now, because it's farther away from the house and I'll be walking home, I'm gonna have to readjust my scheduling. And that could affect my channel. It could affect what I do with Instagram a couple of days a week. It's all going to depend on when I get to go back to work on Mondays regularly. <laughs> I'm snapping at a puppy over here who's trying to tear up a carpet while he eats a bone. <laughs> Multitasking at all times, my friends. My point is, is, is 
We have to be able to make changes and adjustments when life requires it. Now, you know, I could have just not gone to a gym. I could have kept lifting the little weights that I've got here, not feeling comfortable, not making progress. And in fact, I learned today that I've lost strength in some areas, but I also maintain strength in others. So I'm not going back to absolute zero. I didn't lose it all in three months. But it was frustrating to see how weak my pull-ups and dips were today. It was very, very frustrating because I worked really hard at that in the year plus prior to that. But you know what? We'll just keep working harder now. I know I don't, I've got, I've got muscle hiding underneath all this loose skin. I've got to work off. And hard work is the only thing that's going to get rid of it. And I'm ready to make the changes necessary to my schedule to make that possible. I hope when life requires you to make changes, do so intelligently. It's one of the great things about not having brain fog and being a responsive person versus being a reactive person is I get to think this through and my wife and I get to discuss it. And while it does cost a little more money and it, the time factor is a bit of an inconvenience, the reward factor dwarfs all that because these folks are going to stay open they're not fearful. Matter of fact, they gave me a little tour, shook my hand, th thanked me for coming by. I got to speak with the, the head honcho of the whole facility. Very nice man. And it's just a positive, clean, safe environment. And when I say safe, I mean equipment-wise, facility-wise, and uh, the clientele was spectacular. Now, I had no problems with the clientele at the other gym. I'm not going to say their name. I want to, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to give them any publicity whatsoever. My friends, do the things you know you need to do to take care of you. And if you need to make a change, if you need to adjust your routine, you need to make a schedule adjustment, you need to find a better facility to accomplish your goals, don't be afraid to do so because that's life. Don't be afraid to make a positive change. Have a great day, everybody. Don't forget, everybody who watches and sees this has something to be thankful for. And I'll catch you all tomorrow. Take care.